Hello everyone! Again, you can watch me make a resin geode flower tray. This time I'm going to use the flower technique on two layers of resin. I want to try to create more depth by using two thin layers of resin. So I hope you will enjoy watching my experiment and will give me a thumbs up for this video. So I already started with the first thin layer of resin and I'm using the resin from Resin Pro. It's their low viscosity resin, so a very thin resin. Using my heat gun to remove air bubbles. I'm also going to use some uh, crushed glass in the center. And these are very small pieces. Uh, it's um, one to three millimeters large, so not that large. But I thought, why not use it in the center of this uh, um, flower tray? So I will leave this layer for 45 minutes and then I will add the alcohol ink and the uh, lines to create that flower. So we are 45 minutes later and now I'm going to uh, add the colors. And I'm going to use different shades of blue and in the center um, uh, an orange color. And I'm going to start with the sunset orange and this is from Ranger in the center. There you can see it spread. And around it, also from Ranger, but this is the indigo, very dark blue color. And another one from Ranger, and this is the Aquamarine. So this tray will be in blue shades. Yeah, I want to experiment with more layers to create more depth. But yeah, I don't know uh, if that is going to work, but we will find out. And another shade of blue, and this is the Aqua, also from Ranger. Yeah, and the resin that I'm using is from Resin Pro, and it's the transparent low viscosity resin. It has a working time of one and a half hour, so that's why I waited for 45 minutes before I add the colors and the lines to create that flower. Because the resin needs to be a little bit more thicker. So it all depends on the working time of your resin. So if you have a shorter working time, then you don't want to wait for 45 minutes. Then you need to wait yeah, maybe uh, 30 minutes or 20 minutes. But yeah, that's what you, yeah, what you can experiment. Yeah, or what you have to experiment because you need to find out how long you uh, have to wait before you can add the flower design. Going to add a little bit more of the aqua color, very nice, uh, nice light shade of blue. Yeah, blue green color. But this is the first layer, so I will add a second thin layer of resin. After this is dry, of course. And if you are interested in the Resin Pro supplies, the link to their website is in the description below this video. I also have a promo code. My promo code is Petra and if you use it with your order, then you will get 10% discount. So that's amazing. So I'm starting with the first line. This is the white. And I made it with the Resitint Max Titanium White and a few drops of Let's Resin 
alcohol ink, also in the color white. Next to it, a dark blue line, and this is made with the Resitint Max Indigo Nights. And I use the drop in tint from Dippon in the color Royal Blue. A few drops mixed into it. And then another color, and this is made with the Resitint Max Deep Sea with a few drops of the drop-in tint Ocean Blue. Also an experiment to use different colors for the flower design. And on the outside I'm going to use white again, there you can see it, and I added the resin, the colored resin, into a piping bag, because then you have much more control over the line. And the silicone mold I'm using is from Molds and Shapes, I only use their molds, they are amazing. And they have a great quality if you use, if you clean them the right way. I o I always use uh, dish soap and uh, and some warm water, and then I clean it. But uh, if you clean it and handle it with care, then you then they will last for a very long time. So the link to their website is in the description below this video. And I mention it in all, almost every video. I also have a promo code for their website. And if you use my code JustPain5, then you'll get 5% discount on your order. So that's also amazing. But the information to all my promo codes, because I have several promo codes, are in the description below this video. Because I also have a promo code for the Eli Gem Supplied that's the, the Resitint Max. I have a promo code for a German based company. But also that is in the description. And now I'm making some lines with my dotting tool from the outside to the inside. I always use a dotting tool because a dotting tool doesn't have a sharp tip. So and this way I can't damage my mold. And also from the inside to the outside. And now I'm adding some heat to remove air bubbles, but also to create nice effects. So all the supplies I'm using in this video you can find at the end of the video, but also in the description below this video. And I always add the link to the website, so if you're curious, please check out the description box. There's a lot of information there. So I'm almost done with this first thin layer. Uh, I need to uh, let it dry for 24 hours and then we'll add the second layer. So 
So the resin is dry, the first layer, so now I'm going to add a second layer, also very thin, because you only need a thin layer if you want to create a nice flower, using my heat gun to remove air bubbles, but also to make the resin a little bit more liquid to let it flow to the sides of the silicon mold. Going to add some crushed glass in the center. Again, there you can see it. Soon available in my Etsy shop, these crushed glass pieces in two colors, gold and silver. So I am ready with the second layer. I will leave this for 45 minutes and then I will add the colors. So we are 45 minutes later, now I'm going to add the colors, I'm going to use the same colors as in my first layer, so I'm starting with the sunset orange in the center. This time I'm not going to use the dark blue color, I'm starting with the aquamarine. And the second color is the aqua, very nice color, around it. So hopefully this way I can create a little bit more depth on this side. And my goal is that it can be used on both sides. Again, I'm going to add the white lines, only white this time. And again, I'm going to make lines from the outside to the inside, there you can see it. Yeah, what I mentioned, that gross glass is amazing, so the link to my Etsy shop is in the description below this video. And I have a lot more other supplies like mica pigments, mica flakes, glitter flakes, mirror glass. So if you are interested, the link is in the description. And they are also available in the USA and Canada by my associate Evelyn Schaefer. The link to her Etsy shop is also in the description. So I'm almost done with the second layer and after one hour of drying I will show you how it looked and if it changed or not. So we are one hour later and it changed a lot. So <laughs> hopefully it will look nice but now I have my doubts. But yeah, it's also about experimenting with different, yeah, with techniques and creating uh, nice effects. And if you know me, I will show you everything, so I don't have any secrets. So if, if, if something doesn't work, I will show you anyway. But I will let this try for... Uh, 24 hours and I will take it out of the mold. So we are 24 hours later and now we can find, find out if it looks nice or not. Because I had my doubts. And I never have a problem with... Uh, taking uh, it out of the mold because I never use a torch. I only use a heat gun or an embossing tool. The outside where the white is looks already 
Very nice, very pretty. And I'm always very careful uh, taking that resin piece out of the mold. Oh. And it doesn't look that bad. It looks nice. I love the effects. The colors go very well together, so that's not a problem. That one, that side is also amazing. I love the center with the crushed glass. It has more depth, I think. I don't know which side I like more. But for sure I'm going to experiment with this on different layers again. A little bit closer. Hopefully you can see the depth. At the end of this video I'm going to show you a close-up, then you can see it much better. But it looks pretty. And the other side. The center is amazing. And it sparkles a lot. So that's great. So this is the end result, I have it outside in the daylight, this is the side how I poured it, and it has some great depth, I hope you can see it, the effects are amazing, so for sure I'm going to uh, try this again on two thin layers of resin, very nice. So I'm very pleased with this experiment, I hope you like watching it and uh, will give me a thumbs up for this video and if you haven't subscribed yet consider it i would appreciate it a lot so all the links to the to the supplies i've used you can find in the description below this video don't forget my promo codes i have several now and there will be more, so uh, keep an eye on, on that part of the description. And this is the other side, the center is amazing, it has a lot of depth. And it sparkles a lot. Yeah, I'm very pleased. So let me know what you think of uh, my... Uh, Geoda flower tray. Yeah, very difficult to film this because it sparkles a lot. So for sure I'm going to add a heat resistant layer. Because it doesn't have a heat resistant layer yet. But I will do that off camera. And... Um, what I also want to mention is that I have my own Facebook group. The link is in the description. Please come and share your art in my Facebook group. I would appreciate it a lot because I'm very curious what you create with my supplies. I want to thank you all for watching again. And hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye.